This is an interesting case that Antonina Kalmakova of CSD Health Care in Kiev shared with me. It, it illustrates very, very nicely the problems one may encounter uh, with a, an epidermis showing pagetoid change. So I'm going to have a look at this biopsy. Uh, firstly, at low power, we can see there's some crust present and there's hyperkeratosis, possibly some parakeratosis. And then we can see that the underlying squamous epithelium is hyperplastic. Now, I don't know the site of this biopsy, but I I'm certain it's not from uh, breast or nipple nor is it from the external genitalia, which is of some importance when we see the histology. So we'll enlarge it, and I want to focus really on the top uh, left-hand side, um, because that will give us a good discussion point. So I'm just going to straighten this, and there's a lovely field. Now, what we can see is uh, a gross, greatly thickened epidermis, and we can see that scattered throughout the epithelium are large cells with uh, grayish, rather granular cytoplasm, in places clear cytoplasm, and containing large round to oval vesicular nuclei. Uh, nuclei are not really evident. Now, when we look at this, uh, we have to think of what differentials come to mind. And I think there, there are four entities that I would think of. Uh, one is extramammary Paget's disease. Secondly would be um, Pagetoid Bowen's disease. Thirdly would be uh, superficial spreading or Pagetoid melanoma. And fourthly, if this biopsy had come from the perianal region, one might have thought of pagetoid dyskeratosis. So how do we sort it out? Well, the easiest thing to do really is, is to look and see whether there's any mucin secretion, uh, which would obviously make the diagnosis uh, of extramammary Paget's disease. Now, I can't see any mucin on the H and E, so I would go along the pathway. I would start with the diastase PAS, and if that was positive, well, all well and good. But if it was negative, then I would add an alcyon blue and a mucicarmine, because sometimes uh, mucin stains don't always identify mucin for some reason or another. So very often you end up doing all three. And uh, if they're negative and you still think it's extramammary Paget's disease, then an EMA and a CEA would be very helpful as they would uh, be strikingly positive. So would CK7, but the problem with CK7 is that it can be picked up by uh, squamous cell carcinoma as well sometimes, so I wouldn't bother doing that. If, if they're all negative, well, then we could think about superficial spreading melanoma. And uh, obviously, we can use any of the common uh, melanoma markers, such as S100, protein, or melan A, or SOX10, whatever you particularly like. And then thirdly, if we think it's um, pagetoid squamous cell carcinoma or pagetoid Bowen's disease, then I, I think that uh, P63 would be the best option because it will be strikingly positive. So um, that, that's how I would approach this from, from this area alone. But if we go back a par and have a look at the uh, epithelium, I just have to get that straight and it drives me mad. Um, so there's our pagetoid area there, uh, and there's a, another bit there. There's a high mitosis there, and at the bottom here, we can see dysplastic squamous epithelium in this 
uh, outgrowth here. And as we move along, there's a suprabasal mitosis there. There's a bit more pagetoid change. There's a, a, another mitosis. And if we get to the end of the specimen, I think life gets a little bit easier because we can see that this full thickness dysplasia of the epidermis. And so this, therefore, is a case of pagetoid Bowen's disease. Uh, the interesting thing is if I go down to a type times two, you can see that um, if I lo locate the areas, that bit is pagetoid, this bit is pagetoid, and this bit is uh, is bowenoid. If we just got a shave vapsy across that bit there, then we'd have real real difficulties in coming to a definitive diagnosis without special stains in immuno. But in this case, because we find the Bowen's disease at one end, we don't have to bother. I hope this is of some help to you. Thank you very much.